Hey guys, Thunderset here using a new card, some new cards that are Fortune Fairies. So you know Fortune Ladies, now we're getting Fortune Fairies, which are like the non-Dark Signer form of the archetype, I guess. And uh, they're fairies, they're not ladies, so they look much cuter, they're like chibi kind of things. We've only gotten two of them, there's a few more, and some spell card support. Maybe once a few more are released, I'll make like a pure deck of them, but right now, I've just mixed them with some other spellcasters, and it's gone like really well. This deck is so much fun, guys. It's really effective. There's some cool combos. Mostly, let's go over what Hikari is doing for us in the deck. When you draw this card, you can reveal it, special summon it from your hand. If this card is special summoned from your hand, you can target one monster you control, including this card, so you don't have to control another monster. She can send herself. When you target one monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one level 1 spellcaster type monster from your deck. You can only do it once per turn. So, who are we bringing out with this effect? You draw her, you bring her out, send her to the graveyard, bring out your Mystic Piper, guys. Now we bring out Mystic Piper, he's a level 1 spellcaster, you contribute this card and draw and reveal one card. If that card is a level 1 monster, draw one more card. So, Mystic Piper has some good synergy with Hikari, really gets you that plus one. We have another level one spellcaster, and Berry Magician Girl, but uh, you usually don't want to special summon her with Hikari because her effect is on normal summon, not special summon. So you're usually going for your Mystic Piper plays, which are pretty cool. They're good plus ones, and that's two spellcasters immediately in your graveyard without even using a normal summon, guys. So it's really, really turboing you to a quintet. Now the other new card we use it's pretty good, but it's not as good as Hikari. When you draw this card, you can reveal it, special summoner from your hand, just like Hikari, but both of these cards are zero attack, zero defense, so you're not really using them as actual monsters. If this card is special summoned from your hand, you can make each player draw one card. You can only use the effect of Fortune Fairy Chi one turn. So, you know, it's the same draw one card, but your opponent gets to draw one card too, so you usually want to have a pretty decisive play when you're using her plus one. Other than that, guys, we're using some other uh, spellcaster mechanics. We're doing so much drawing, so we're going to run three Mahad just to get them out there. And Mahad's a great target for our Chocolate Magician Girl to discard and potentially special summon from the graveyard. So we got Chocolate Magician Girl also giving us those plus ones and another spellcaster to get to our quintet even faster. We've snuck in one Kiwi because she's searchable with Barry. Easy to put in the graveyard and another spellcaster, so it works really well. Then we're using Wonder One. I think the only place Wonder One really messes up the timing is on some of the special summons, but I think it'll mostly work. I think it works for Mahad for sure. So it's a nice little tech in there. And if you accidentally get stuck with just one of your zero monsters on the field, like let's say you special summon a Chi Drew One, that one was a Wonder One, now you've Busted a monster with Wonder Womb for plus two without even using your normal summon. So this deck is so fast, guys. It's so fun. It's like playing itself when you're drawing and it's summoning. And then drawing some more. Just to get to these magicalized fusions. Get to that big quintet. You get there really, really quick, guys. I'm telling you. We're also using Grit just so we make sure we have the time to get there. Super cool, guys. It's just another fast way to get to quintet. But I think this might be a better engine. I think they... Uh, Fortune Fairies are going to be great for Quintet. Even just a pure Fortune Fairy deck when you get Magicalized Fusion, you're running Quintets. It's going to be really fun, guys. So I hope you enjoy these pretty gnarly replays, and thanks for watching. Hey, guys. So, did you notice that general... Oh, we're going first, this replay. So did you notice that general gameplay survey you get 50 gems for doing? Make sure you guys are telling them to do more PvP events, more tournaments, that little section they have, more PvP stuff. More PvP features, they say, like tournaments, all that cool stuff. So here we started with the Chocolate Magician Girl, brought out a uh, Mahad first thing, discard a uh, Hikari. We had a uh, Mystic Piper in our hand, which is not what you want in our hand to start off. We're finding Shiranui. Here he uses a Sun Saga, destroys our Mahad. Here we get to uh, throw away Magician Girl. We go into another Mystic Piper, so we're gonna normal summon the Mystic Piper, draw into a Chi. She is gonna let us draw into a Berry. We're gonna Magicalize Fusion. That's more than enough for our Quintet already. And we're going to keep our Berry Magician Girl. Pretty much just wipe his back row. Of course, his Sun Saga will make it so he's not destroyed, but we still are way over him and we can't be destroyed. So he's gonna have a tough time just getting over us. 
He brings out a Squire Saga just to put her back in the graveyard. So he has another instance of protection here. He uses a Gozuki for another instance of protection. And swings into our Berry Magician Girl since we had no Spellcaster in the graveyard. But here we are with a Mahad. Mahad gets Floodgated. That's okay. We still have our Quinn. Now we get Normal Summon a Mystic Piper. Drawn to a Hikari which lets us draw another. Then we Special Summon the Hikari but we don't have another level 1 to bring up from our deck. So she's just a body on the field. Here we destroy Z Gozuki for a ton of damage which lets him Special Summon a Tuner. And throw another monster or throw a Floodgate into the graveyard. Here we get a Wonder Wand, so we're going to Normal Summon Berry Magician Girl, then our deck again. We got a Kiwi now. Use Kiwi's effect just because, get her in the graveyard, now we have Wonder Wand. Plus two, we only have four cards left in our deck guys, we get another Chi. Three cards left in our deck. Now we have another Magicalized Fusion with another Quintet guys. Can you believe this? And guess what? Two Destructions in a duel. He's going to use Forbidden Chalice to stop the Destruction though. But, he's still in attack mode guys, we have more than lethal swinging over him, even when he protects himself from destruction. Great, great stuff guys. So I really did have a lot of fun playing this deck, um, more than just a Magician Girls variant. I really like these Fortune Fairies and what they do for this deck. There's also a cool combo with uh, Hikari and Exodia, I might make a deck for later. But it's the same as if you were using a Treasure Panda except your Hikari's the one special summoning the Exodia pieces. But anyway, here our opponent is a Dark Magician. We threw away a Hamad, so Hamad would be an incredibly strong monster to get on the field. So he can't really swing on this Chocolate Magician girl just yet. He's got to rely on a bat, uh, Banish. So here he uses Illusion Magic to get rid of the rod he used, which searched Navigation. So he's getting his whole combo set up. Sets Navigation and another back row. We get a Kiwi, we get a normal summon our Berry Magician Girl. He's going to use his navigation. He's going to bring out one Dark Magician. And now he's going to bring out a Dark Illusion. We get a Chocolate Magician Girl from our Berry Search. He activates his Dark Magical Circle. We're going to chain Kiwi just to get Kiwi into the graveyard. And we're going to pass our turn. Here he's going to use a Timeus. Look at this guys, we're fighting a Timeus. And a Dark Magician versus a Tiny Little Magician Berry Girl. What are we possibly going to do? He's searching again, getting a Dark Magician. We get our Berry Magician effect going off. That special summons a Chocolate Magician Girl. He switches her to attack. We take some damage. Chooses not to swing with his Dark Calvary. We're going to use our Berry Magician Girl to throw away a Chi. We're going to use the Wonder Wand. He, uh, Dark Calvary is our Wonder Wand. But that's really no problem because we already have enough Spellcasters, guys. So we're going to hit our Mazgalized Fusion, five different spellcasters, completely wipe the field, and then just swing for lethal, guys. That's what it's like with Quintet. Break that boy's big old field, 4,500. Didn't see what was coming. Well, I'm sure you saw what was coming, but uh, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are facing another Yami Yugi. Going second. Of course, this deck likes to go second, but it does have first turn plays that are just fine, especially with Grit. So you do just fine, either way. You do not want Mahad or really Mystic Piper in your hand or Hikari in your starting hand. So this is a pretty bad starting hand, but Chocolate Magician Girl is going to turn around with us. We discard a Mahad to draw into a Mahad. Now we're going to use a Wonder Wand on our Chocolate Magician Girl. That's another plus two, guys. That's going to trigger. We can only use one. We drew two, but we can only use one of our effect girls. So we're going to go with Hikari. That way we get a plus one and two spellcasters in the graveyard without giving our enemy the plus one. So she brings out the Mystic Piper once she's drawn and special summon. Mystic Piper tributes himself, draws right into a Magicalized Fusion, guys. We were going to get a Quintet out. I don't believe it would have been a full destruction Quintet, but it would have been a Quintet. Our opponent Econ takes to stop our uh, Quintet by taking one of our five. So that was a pretty good play, but we'll get another Magicalized Fusion. We do run two, and we still have it a Mahad in the deck. Versus a Dark Magician, so he can't really do much. Now look at this, guys. We were so close to lethal. All we needed was something with attack. All our monsters had zero attack. Even with the Wonder Wand, we we're just short of lethal. So I'm going to Wonder Wand this Akari, draw two. Now we're going to Special Summon the Chi, because we don't have any more Mystic Piper plays. And look what we draw with the Chi. Go ahead and give our opponent that plus one, because here comes the big boy. We don't need the destruction, but I think we got it anyway. Destroy him. 
hit for 4,500. We had a Mahad in the back. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting a Crowler. Going second. I like using Grit on Luna. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cool character to have Grit. So here we get a Mahad and a Mystic Piper in our hand. That's really what you don't want to see. But we already have a Magilized Fusion, so it's really only a case of getting all the Spellcasters into the graveyard. We're going to throw away Mahad with our Magician Girl. We're going to poke him for 2200. Good start so far. He flips up a Gear Town, though. That lets him use his Ancient Gear Castle to bring out a Reactor. He swings into our Dragon Magician Girl, chooses not to destroy us with the lethal for some reason unknown to me. We draw Mahad, swing into Magician Girl. I actually didn't notice that before, that he didn't bring out a uh, destroy his gear town and bring out a second. He totally should have. We have Grid, of course, so we would have survived. Here, our opponent uh, opens up lethal to me by trying to use Treasure Shop Hole on his own boy when we got our Quintet out. Our Quintet was a full destruction, but we didn't use the full destruction because we would just summon another thing with a gear town. So we want to just swing over it. But he tried to treacherous us. We swing anyway. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, Dark Signer, Carly Carmine. I wonder if we'll ever get the regular Carly Carmine. You think so, guys? I think so. So he's not using any skins or anything. He must have just got Carly. So here we have a Hikari and a Mahad. We've had a Mahad in like every hand, guys. That's not even like an optimal hand. And we draw two of our Mystic Pipers. So this is like as bad as these hands can really possibly get. Our opponent's using a Silent Magician. What are we possibly gonna do, guys? So we draw into a Chi, that's a good start. She's gonna give us another plus one. That's a Hikari, that's another good start. Hikari doesn't have any plays into a Mystic Piper though. So she just has to bring out a Berry Magician Girl. But we'll just normal summon our Mystic Piper into a Chocolate. So now we're kind of protected for a bit. He's trying to do a Synchro with Time Passage. He chooses to do the Synchro from the uh, Silent Magician. Pretty pretty ballsy play, but he'd rather have the Every on the field. Destroys our Chi. We pull another Hikari, guys, but Hikari can't do anything this time. She just comes out as a Treacherous Trap Hole of Fuel. We target, when you target Berry Magician Girl, she's gonna Special Summon this Chocolate Magician Girl, which is really gonna get us started because we discard that Mahad. Then we Normal Summon another Chocolate Magician Girl. She gets Econ Took with the Every. Now it's Magicalized Fusion, guys, with more than enough Spellcasters in our graveyard. We're gonna wipe our own Magician Girl and finish him for lethal. Opponent doesn't want to see it though, guys. So guys, it, it's great. It's great drawing into monsters that are gonna let you special summon for protection or possible wonder wands or just more draw power on their own or you get a Mahad. It's really, really fun stuff. Pure draw power, pure quintet, OTKs. Put it with grit. You're fighting cyber dragons. You're fighting black wings. You're fighting dragon unity. And this one can OTK just as well, guys. Thanks to Fortune Fairies. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Look for maybe some more Fortune Fairy stuff. And thanks for watching.